All right, so you probably heard of Movember. I know it as No Shave November. You've seen the, uh, the mustaches and all of everything that people grow out in November. It's Men's Health Month, and it's meant to raise awareness of men's health issues like prostate and te testicular cancer and men's suicide. Well, tonight, one man wants to talk about something that isn't talked about often, hoping to shed some awareness on an issue that impacts 30 million men in America. Here's a story and the solution he found only here in Cleveland. Something was off. I couldn't really pinpoint what it was. Something was definitely off. It's a topic we don't talk about often, or ever, really. But Tony wants to change that, sharing his success story in the hopes of helping others. Assessment was, oh, well, it's all in your head, you know. And I, it doesn't seem like it's in my head. So it went on like this for at least a couple of years. So Tony went to doctor after doctor, kept hearing the same thing over and over again. There's nothing wrong with you. You look perfectly healthy. There's nothing we can do. Tony suffered from erectile dysfunction, which started in his 30s. Years later, a procedure found a blockage down there, likely from bike riding. Decades later, Tony finally came across Dr. Mehdi Shishibor, an interventional cardiologist at university hospitals. Dr. Shishabur is also an international leader in minimally invasive vascular procedures. Cleveland, one of the only places this is available. The man who could help Tony and so many others. The same way we go in and open up the arteries of the heart, the same way we open up the arteries in the brain, we can open up the arteries that supply blood to the penis. Because pills like Viagra and Cialis don't work in these particular cases. A urologist does the workup, and if a blockage is found, a vascular surgeon like Dr. S does the rest. He says ED can be a marker for other cardiovascular issues. So it's not just about improving quality of life, stress levels, and relationships. So things like smoking, diabetes, high cholesterol, heart disease, are the things that are associated with vasculogenic erectile dysfunction. That's why it has importance both medically and psychologically. Dr. Shishabur says about 40% of men at the age of 40 have some form of ED. By the time they get to age 70, it's about 70% affected. For Tony, after living with it for 30 years, talking about ED is second nature now. The difference has definitely been very noticeable. Life-changing? Yes. Now, again, Cleveland is one of the only places in the world this unique treatment is being offered. And Dr. S hopes by sharing the successes, they can encourage more men to take ownership of their health. Absolutely.